Right, an enlargement question, again worth two marks. Enlarge triangle B by a scale factor of a half using zero, zero as the center of enlargement. Now, whilst it's called an enlargement, that just means that the size is going to change. It doesn't necessarily mean it gets bigger. It would get bigger if the scale factor was bigger than one, and then you would just times it by whatever that number was. However, in this case, the scale factor is a half, and so it's going to be half the size. So essentially, this triangle has got to be half the size of the original. However, it's also got to be half the distance from the centre, which is zero, zero. So I'll mark the centre on there. And the very first thing I always do with an enlargement question, whether I use them or not, is I draw my guidelines on from the corner, from every corner of the shape, to the center of enlargement. So from there to the center, through the center, and when I've got a full length ruler, I'll extend the line all the way off the grid. Okay, so this corner will line up there, and I'll draw my guideline in, and it would continue up there, and then that corner will go there and that would continue okay so these guidelines what they give me is that any three points i put on these lines are going to be in proportion with the original shape okay so i just need to find now where the points that are half the distance would fall so from the center to get to this point i'll deal with this point first to get from the center to this i go across eight and down two squares. Now I need the new shape to be half that distance so instead of going across eight I need to go across four and instead of going down two I need to go down one. That gives me that point there. So it's gone half the distance across and half the distance down. Now I need to look at this point. On the original it went across eight and I went down 8. So for the new point, I need to go across half of that, so across to 4, and down 4. And I'm thrilled to see that it's fallen on top of my guidelines. That means it's probably correct. For the third corner then, from 0, you go across 4 and down 8. So I need to half that and go across 2, down 4, and again I'm elated to see it fall on top of the guideline. Then I draw my triangle in because all three points are on my guidelines. I know for a fact that that's correct. So that's finished there. This triangle is half the size of that triangle because it was four across the bottom. That's two and that was six and now it's three. But not only is it half the size, it's also half the distance away from the center. All right.